You're watching the marketplace uh, turning to one of our top stories uh, this afternoon. A Kentampo based plant pests and diseases control company has discovered effective control for the mango bacterial black spot disease. The company has been operating in mango growing areas, particularly in the Bono East area, for the past five years. On some farms, it has achieved 100% BBS free in the last two years. Join us is Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin, who has been uh, covering the disease in the area over the past two years, reports that farmers are relieved as a result of the intervention. Um, MK Adam, I started planting in 2007. I've had a lot to say because now my mangoes, the fruits are very nice. I don't have my diseases and pest control has been better here through the assistance of that pet co. Infestations of the mango bacterial black spot disease reached a critical point in 2016. The same year, Mr. Hadoum created a mango graveyard due to the extensive harm done by the BBS. In 2016, I had a major breakdown. That is, BBS attacked the whole farm and I couldn't get any yield. I have to make a mango cemetery here when I had the attack of BBS. I have to pluck the mangoes and bury them as if I'm burying a human being. A plant protection company, Petco, that pays close attention to the disease, arrived a year after Mr. Adum sought the assistance. Um, from then, when Petco came in with the assistant in spraying, assistant in pruning, and assistant in the farm management and farm sanitation, I've had a lot to say. Fast forward to 2021. Last year, for instance, I had a good harvest. I harvested 11 tons per acre on this part area that I'm standing. So what happened after sales in 2021? Last year, after sales, when the records came from HBW, I detected that I had a 0% uh, BBS which means BBS infection has left my farm. What was the profit margin? Oh, the profit margin now is huge. Um, you see, you have to spend about 1,400 per acre. And the yield, you have to get more than 3,000. So, by doing those days, you spend and then you get nothing. By these days, you spend and you get even triple of the money you have spent. Mr. Adum is expecting huge returns this year. This year, as you see the fruits yourself, <laughs> I'm expecting huge amount of money because the fruits are good. They have not been infected by any disease. And you see how they are. Petco's trade secret is the use of a copper-based fungicide, which is permitted by the European Union Organic Agricultural Regulations. The chemical is an immune booster and has little impact on people. In fact, the copper-based fungicide that we are using are accepted under the European Union organic farming protocols. In other words, they have very minimal effect on humans. And again, the other guard that we use is not a chemical as such, but it is only 
an immunity booster. So it has no effects on humans, even if you eat the fruits where it has been applied. Farmers with the financial means to buy all suggested chemicals have been successful in keeping the disease under control. BBS can be controlled. We have succeeded in controlling completely on two farms, such that the processors who came to buy from the farm tested the fruits and saw that it, 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 it has 100% uh, uh, BBS control. According to records, 2020 saw 100% free BBS from Emmanuel Sapon's farm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. On a farm of a 10 yeah, okay. acres, he produced 70 tons of mango, which was previously inconceivable. In fact, last few years, we, harvest, we harvested from this same place. And then I got almost 70 tons from here, around 10 acres land. I had almost 70 tons here. But things have changed this year and Mr. Sapon might not be able to accomplish the same feat because he could not afford the essential chemicals. But this year I had a problem with farms. Uh, when we pruned, I couldn't get enough money to buy the bayon. So uh, I started using the bayon late. In fact, I informed the director of PEPCO and he asked me to sell loot for money and then buy the bayon and use. It will help. As of now, the farmer is expecting another bumper harvest. But like he said earlier on, it's not going to be as it was the previous years because of the fact that he could not procure all the chemicals we recommended. Because of the BBS disease invasion, in 2017, mango farmers were forced to destroy their plantations. An acre of mango farm that had an average potential yield of 7 tons was producing barely 1.4 tons, if not nothing at all. With Petco's assistance, farmers' sense of community and faith in the mango industry are being revived. All the diseases are gone. The most dangerous one is the BBS. It has been ex exterminated. None on it at all completely. This year, you look at this farm, look at the mangoes. I believe I'm going to have a very good harvest. Apart from his 20 acres in Ejra, Kwame Wusu also owns a two-acre mango farm in the Kintampo South. He is pleased with the quick outcomes. The, 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 the most interesting is that this is a, a two-acre farm. I have 25-acre farm at um, Ejura. They have, they have a team also, a spraying team gang there, who, 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 who have also been able to subsidize completely my, 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 my farm. For the past three years, the same thing, I have never been, been able to have a single, a single thing because the mango, now I've seen mangoes. I can get mangoes. A Jura 2, the 25 farm, I'm going to get a lot. Bacterial black spot, also known as bacterial canker, is most likely originated in India and spread to other countries through the movement of plant materials. Farmers are therefore being advised to join hands and agree on a coordinated control plan. That is why Mr. Asensu says there is the need for more farmers to benefit from the intervention. I that if farmers can procure all the chemicals and they will spray as recommended, the farmers will be able to get very uh, big yields on their farms and thereby increasing their incomes. And that will make it cost effective for them. In other words, they will still get profits to offset whatever investment costs they have incurred. A report by Mohamed Nuruddin.